Good morning, lovely learners. Welcome back. Today's Wednesday, and it's time for some stories and some crafts here at Denton Public Library. All right, I'm Mrs. Rebecca, and we're going to learn about a special holiday that's coming up this weekend, and it's all about mommies. So it's called Mother's Day. So we want to make something a little special for our mamas and let them know that we love them so much. We just love them. And I love my mommy, and that's what I'm thankful for today. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that I'm going to put my mom. That's what I'm grateful for. That's what I'm happy that I have, and I'm happy to have her in my life still. I feel lucky. I feel blessed. So I'm going to put that in here in my gratitude jar. So I'll look back at my gratitude jar later and I'll say, oh, I had so many things to be thankful for. I hope you're still doing that. Okay, so today we're going to learn about Mother's Day. We're also going to learn about two different kinds of animals, rabbits and snakes. So we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, we're going to make this little Mother's Day craft. And I was thinking... What you could do, you could write a little love note on, on a paper, and I'm going to give you a paper, and I'm going to give you all the things for you to make this little craft. But I wrote, I love you so much, you could write, Happy Mother's Day. You could write your name on there and put a little flower or a heart, whatever you want to draw. This is your artwork. But I'm going to give you the things to make this little um, craft. So you're going to have some green paper, and you're going to have some little green strips like this for a flower stem and then we're going to make this little flower so I'll show you how I'm going to give you these but if you have some other ones at home you could use them of course but you take one of these you open it up and you take your little scissors your little safe scissors and you cut little snip 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 you can do it anywhere anywhere you want and you can make one or you can make 20, however many you want to make. Snip, 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 like that. And then you take your glue and you squirt a little bit of glue. Squirty, squirty, squirt, like that. And then you squish this down on the paper and just flatten it out. There you go. And then these guys, you take one and you open it all the way up and flip it over. Squirt a little glue down in your other one, like this. And then you push this guy in there. And then, you have this part. So, a little bit more glue right there. However much you want to use. <laughs> it can be fun to squirt that glue out, right? And then you just squish that one down on there. Now, the easiest way to get your glue on this part is just to make a little, make a little line like that. That's the easiest part. Maybe yours is too long, like mine is, so I'll just tear it off a little bit. And I'll just stick it up in there like that. There we go. Now, you can make this pretty thing for your mommy. I think she'll like it. Or you can make it for a grandma or an aunt or... Whoever's taking good care of you and you want to make them something sweet and special. All right, so that's our Mother's Day craft. Now, let's read a book about Mother's Day. This is called Happy Mother's Day by Mercer Mayer. And you know I love these little critters. They're so cute. Now, there is a little uh, thing I want you to notice about this book. The little critter... This is little critter, and he has a little sister. And they have a dog, and mom and dad are in here. But little critter has two special friends that stay with him all throughout this book, and one is a mouse, and one is a spider. So you see if you see those in the story, okay? Here we go. This is by Mercer Mayer. And it's published by Harper Festival. There's little critter, and there's mommy. Mother's Day is just around the corner. Little sister and I go to the clubhouse to make special cards for Mom. Mom asks, what are you doing? We say, nothing. 
we're just going to the clubhouse to play. Little sister collects flowers from mom's garden. I collect great rocks and sticks that I just know mom will love. Little sister makes a nice card. I start to make a card, but my stuff won't stay glued. I just draw a picture instead. Happy Mother's Day. Wait, wait, yeah. Me. I love you. See the I? Love you. What did the mouse do? Oh, look, he what made the that? spider stick to his oh. paper. <laughs> the spider does not look happy. Now, all right, so he's made his card. Dad takes little sister and me to the mall. We find great Mother's Day presents. I find some hand cream. It comes out really fast. Little sister finds a dress mm -hmm. and jewelry for mom. Dad! These hats fly far, I say. Oops, mm, we bought that hat too. <laughs> it's Mother's Day. Mom gets to sleep late. We can't wait to surprise her. I call, hey mom, look at the presents we got for you. She is so happy. <laughs> Aww. Little sister makes a tray for mom. Dad has a cup of coffee. I'm making scrambled eggs. Wow, they're really scrambled now. Uh oh. <laughs> we get dressed. Little sister and I will help mom. We will clean up the den. Little sister does everything. I clean the curtains. Oh. Mom, I need some help in here. Uh -oh. We will take mom to a fancy restaurant for lunch. But right now, she's too busy. We are waiting for Grandma and Grandpa. They are coming also. Mom had a busy day. She looks a little tired. Oh, she fell asleep. Mom just got too excited. After Mom has a nap, we order pizza instead. Mom wants to rest on Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom and Grandma. <laughs> it was a great day, wasn't it? They really tried to help Mom a lot. That was so sweet. Aww. I bet you try to help your moms too, right? Your moms and your grandmas? Very nice. Okay, let's sing a little song about springtime, and then we'll talk about our letters of this week. So we did this song last week. And I had some people that really liked it because they learned some sign language in it, American Sign Language. So we're going to do the song again, and I'm going to teach you a couple more animals this week. So, <clears throat> me, 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 me. Am I ready to sing? Uh -huh. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to be brave. I'm going to do this. Okay. Spring is here. Spring is here. How do you think I know? I just saw a bee. That is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here. How do you think I know? I just saw a butterfly. That is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here. How do you think I know? I just saw a ladybug. <laughs> that is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think I know? I just saw a, what can we see? What is that? A rabbit, that is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think I know? I just saw a snake, a snake, that is 
how I know. <laughs> now, last week we saw a, a bluebird. That's what we saw, yes. But I don't have a bird to show you this week. So, there's also some other things that you might see in the springtime. Remember we talked about how bears hibernate? They're coming out now. So, let's do that one. Spring is here, spring is here. How do you think I know? I just saw a bear. That is how I know. What else might we see? <gasps> Spiders. <sighs> spring is here, spring is here. How do you think I know? I just saw a spider. That is how I know. What else might we see? Hmm. There's lots of things we might see. Flowers. And this is also for flower, spring and flower, because it's blooming up out of the ground. And then the trees, these are the trees, all they're getting all their leaves on them. They're so pretty. So there's lots of ways that we know it's springtime. Okay, now we're gonna do another little, it's a book and a song. So, and it has to do with the letter that we're studying this week. And that letter is the letter R. So we're gonna talk about rabbits and we're gonna read a book about rabbits. Now, a rabbit goes by different names. Sometimes you hear it called a rabbit and sometimes you hear them called bunnies, like bunny rabbits or bunnies. And sometimes they're called hares, like H-A-R-E, hare. Sounds kind of like this hare, but it's a little different. Okay, so a little baby rabbit is called a kit. Did you know that? I learned that. And a female rabbit is called a doe, just like a deer. A female deer is a doe. And a male rabbit is a book, just like a male deer is a book. So they're very social creatures and they like to live in groups. Uh, and they live in warrens, which is like a little tunnel under the ground. And they make little rooms, just like our, um, our little groundhog did. Remember when we talked about groundhogs? Well, rabbits do the same thing. They dig little holes and they live like in those little tunnels under the ground. A rabbit's teeth never stop growing. And that's why it has to chew, 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 chew its food all the time to make its teeth worn a little bit or they'll just get long, long, long. Yeah. Um, and you know, you always see rabbits um, eating carrots. They really don't like carrots so much. They do like lettuces. Carrots can sometimes upset their tummies. But... Like, like a cat, a rabbit will purr when it's happy. I know, isn't that cool? And a rabbit can jump so high in one, it can jump high, but a dog can jump really far. Like it can jump five feet in one jump. That's pretty far. All right. The best features about a rabbit is their long ears. And that's why in American Sign Language, we talk about their ears when we do their sign for them. They're little floppy ears like that. All right. So all these little pieces and parts are in your craft bag that you can pick up at the library. And I thought, well, this rabbit looks like a sweet little mama rabbit. So I think we should make her a little baby rabbit. So you've got all the pieces to make your little baby rabbit to go with your mama as well. Because it's Mother's Day. So this little rabbit, I decided it's a mommy. And it has a little baby rabbit. All right, so all those pieces are gonna be in your bag. Now, let's read our story. Ready? This one's called Little Bunny Foo Foo. And it has a little, uh, kind of a fairy godmother in it. And this fairy godmother does not like tomfoolery. Now, what in the world is tomfoolery? Well, that is when you cause a little bit of mischief, a little bit of trouble. So let's see what she thinks about all that. This little bunny right here is Little Bunny Foo Foo. And this is told and sung by the Good Fairy. <laughs> it's illustrated <laughs> by Paul Brett Johnson. Do you see the Good Fairy? There she is. She's watching him and he's making up something. Hmm. I'll let you in on a secret. Good fairies do not like tomfoolery. That's why I had to keep an eye on little bunny Foo Foo when he whipped up a batch of yucky, mucky mud pies and headed for the forest. 
mud pies. Oh, dear. Do you think he was up to something nice? <clears throat> hmm. Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field moss and plopping them on the head. <laughs> To be fair, little bunny Foo Foo was not a bad bunny, not really, but he was very naughty. So I said, little bunny Foo Foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field moss and popping them on the head. I'll give you three chances, and if you don't behave, I'm going to turn you into a goon. I thought that would be the end of it. Hmm. But was it? Mm-mm. <sighs> Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the woodchucks and bopping them on the head. <sighs> Some bunnies just won't listen. So I said, Little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the woodchucks and Bopping them on the head. Now you've got two more chances. And if you don't behave, I'll turn you into a goon. It's not a lot to go around bopping heads. Do you think he listened? Mm -mm. Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the foxes and bopping them on the head. Oh my goodness. But now I was getting more than a tad cross. So I said, Little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the foxes and bopping them on the head. You've got one last chance, and if you don't behave, I'll turn you into a goon. I mean it. This head bopping will not, I repeat, will not do. Do you think he behaved? Mm -mm. Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the grizzly bears and bopping them on the head. You know, a good fairy can only take so much. So I said, little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the grizzly bears and bopping them on the head. I gave you three chances and you didn't behave. So now, I'm going to turn you into a goon. <gasps> like they say, hair today, goon tomorrow. Oh. oh my goodness. Now look, do you think that the mice and the woodchucks <laughs> and the other animals, do you think they got a kick out of that? I think they did. <laughs> mm, that was some tomfoolery. And he got turned into a goon, didn't he? Oh my goodness. Well, let's learn about this little rabbit. This little rabbit learns about some colors. And I love these books. Now, this is White Rabbit's color book. And then the book after that would be Brown Rabbit's Shape Book. So you can come and get this at the library if you like. But we're going to read this one today. And this one's by Alan Baker. I love that green color. And this is published by Kingfisher Books. So you see our rabbit is what color? He is, right now he is a white rabbit. So let's see what happens. White Rabbit's Color Book. One day, White Rabbit found three, one, two, three, big tubs of paint, red, yellow, and blue. Sunshine yellow, she thought. Ooh, lovely. 
a quick dip and yellow rabbit, bright as the sun. Oh, now what about red, thought rabbit. Will she be red? Let's see. What's this? Orange rabbit? Look, red and yellow together make orange. Hmm, time for a wash, thought rabbit. Red on its own this time. Splash! Will she be red? Yes, red rabbit, sizzling hot red. Ooh, how cool blue looks, thought rabbit. Hmm, is she gonna be blue? Let's see, she's in the blue. Hmm, what's this? Purple rabbit? Look, red and blue together make purple. I'm a very important royal purple rabbit. <laughs> Princess purple rabbit in the shower. Blue will do, thought rabbit. Ah, blue rabbit. Icy cold blue. Brrr. Ooh, how warm yellow looks, thought rabbit. Hmm. What's this? Green rabbit. Look, blue and yellow together make green. Oh dear, no more water. She's gonna stay green. All that's left is a little red paint. So the green rabbit goes into the red paint. Now what would happen? Thought rabbit. Hmm. Hooray, brown rabbit. Lovely warm brown. Blue, yellow, and red together make brown. And brown's just right for me. Beautiful. <laughs> so when we mix those colors, we get new colors. That's exciting. That's fun. So now that's about brown rabbit. And he's and she's gonna learn about her shapes. So you can come and get these rabbit books at the library, and there's more like that. And then we also have some more bunny books over here like this. And then we have some snake books. And mm. that's our other letter of this week. So here is our snakey craft. And all of those parts will be in your craft bag as well. Now snakes live near rocks. They live near water. And they live out in the grasses. So you've got a little bit of, of all of those. Uh, snakes are meat eaters. So they like to eat other animals. And they don't have eyelids. That's an interesting fact about them. They can't bite their food, so they just swallow it whole. So sometimes a snake will swallow some food and its belly will get really big because it's got a big old animal in there. They have internal ears instead of ears on the outside. Can't they don't, You don't see any ears on them. And snake skin is very smooth and dry. And if they get too big for their skin, they rub that skin on the rocks and it comes off and then they have a new skin underneath. So snakes are very cool animals and they're good to have around because they eat rats and mice and things that you might not want around your gardens and your houses. So you'll have these crafts in your bag. And you're also going to have some coloring sheets. So I made you this one. S is for snake, and then I found you this one, and this got a little snake on it too. And then here is the rabbit one for you. And you can cut out these shapes down here, and then you can glue them on where they go up here. And if you notice, this one's kind of like a heart. It's upside down, but it's like a heart shape. So I think you'll have fun with those, coloring them and everything. Now. I want to tell you about a couple of things that are coming up. This summer, we're going to have a summer reading program. And each week, we're going to read books and we're going to do crafts. And there's different ways that you can enjoy summer reading. You could still watch it online. You could watch it like you're watching me now. Or you could come into the library and hear me read the books and do the crafts with me. Or we could do them outside. 
So on Wednesdays at 1030, we're going to be doing them outside. I'll read the books to you and we'll do the crafts outside. So there's different ways that you could come in and enjoy summer reading. However's best for you and your family, okay? That'll be Tuesdays at 1030 inside. That'll be Wednesdays at 1030 outside. And then we'll offer another program Wednesdays at 1 inside. And then, of course, you can always watch it online like you're watching me now. So, um, tomorrow, Sleepy Time Stories is at 7 o'clock. We're going to have some books about Mommy and about Granny. So I hope you'll watch tomorrow night at 7 for that. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope I see you again next week. Bye, lovely learners.